Happy Easter and happy Resurrection Day, boss babes. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you are new here, my name is Mia the Boss. I would love for you all to join my community and officially become a boss babes. And for all of my returning boss babes, welcome back. You already know the vibes. It is Sunday. This is probably, um, well, since I've lived in Houston, today makes six months that I've been in Houston, but tomorrow, April 1st, will make six months that I've been in this apartment. But um, I've never done like, a Sunday fun day like even right now it's kind of late like it's six o'clock like people go to brunch and they do all that shebang me personally y'all I'm not a brunch girl and I know it's very 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 probably shocking like what you are not a brunch girl I don't I'm sorry I don't really enjoy restaurants that have like that vibey type of thing if you know what I mean like anywho I'm not gonna get into that because y'all gonna chew my head off about that one but um, I'm dressed, I did my work, I had to film a reel, and I need to take some pics today, so thank God. But my cycle is about to come, y'all. I have been super moody today, just feeling very, like, blah when it comes to people. Like, I really wanted everyone to just leave me alone. But, um, I'm about to go out, meet my friend, go to a day party. This is my first time going to this spot, um, since I've lived here. When I didn't live here... I've been to this spot before, so I'm excited to kind of get out the house and do stuff and socialize. I just want to do a few other things that are just not so cliche and things that I do. I'm trying to explore more, just do more, have more fun. So, yeah. But, um, I'm about to get dressed. I'm sorry, well, I'm about to get ready, get up out this house. I have on like this cute little fashion of a, it's like a linen cross faux wrap like crop top and then of course my favorite camo pants or my favorite camo skirt and um a little fendi earrings i put my hair in a ponytail but yeah i'm gonna throw some sunglasses on and my hermes or Rons, and the look is gonna be cute but i just wanted to come on here introduce the vlog hopefully this will be a good week of vlogging um i don't really have a lot of things planned so if you don't see me for a few days you have been warned. Um, but yeah, happy Sunday. And just remember, God has risen. You are God's child. Our God is a living God. Bye. y'all it's been a few minutes since your girl has been on camera but i did tell y'all on easter if i don't get back on camera to expect it because i was gonna be busy these you know these few days but i'm at home about to make some dinner i'm gonna make some branzino um so if you all don't know Tra uh, trader joe's has these branzino um fillets let me show you Farm raised Branzino fillets are 110 calories per fillet. I'm about to make two, one for his dinner, one for tomorrow. I used to always buy these. Branzino is a really good fish, so I unthawed them. The unthawing is really easy. And I'm about to season these up and pan fry them. And then I want to make some veggies to go with it on the side. Like I'm gonna make broccoli, but I also want some peppers. And I'm gonna make like some type of sauce or whatever but i'll show you all the process but i'm tired of cooking videos but you all like the cooking videos or do you not like the cooking videos so actually i want to know that too let me know in the comments if y'all like the cooking videos like am i inspiring you all to chef it up in the kitchen like let me know because we got food in the house and that was the title of the last vlog we got food at the house 
Um, Y'all, I've been trying to get that last vlog uploaded since Sunday. I don't know what the heck YouTube is doing. I just like exported the video from Final Cut Pro all over again, and now I re-uploaded it to YouTube, but it's like it wasn't making no progress. And I don't really know what to do. Like, so I just started over, as you can see. But we'll see. I hope this works because I just don't know what's happening at all. I'm getting defeated. But all right, y'all, let me get the cooking. I wanted to show y'all this. I got this simple syrup. It's called Shake and Share Simple Syrup from Trader. I mean, I got this from H-E-B. But um, I just got this simple syrup from H-E-B because I want to make a lemon drop later. So I got a big ass lemon for my lemon drop. And my peppers and onions that I'm about to use for my dish right now. So let's get the cooking and cutting and cleaning. All right, presentation isn't the snazziest today, but here is the finished meal. Yum, yum, yum. It's a lot of green. Dip it in the rice. Very good. So I season mine with salt, pepper, chimichurri seasoning, parsley, and garlic powder. No, I didn't use garlic powder. I used onion salt. This is good. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, let me sit down and eat my food and I'll come back on and we'll chat. I'm about to make a little sandwich, breakfast sandwich maybe, and a smoothie. And I'm gonna get to this housework. I'm doing laundry right now. I need to wash my sheets, wash my clothes, fold my clothes. So Thursday is about to be a peaceful, home cleaning day and if i have time i'm going well i probably will have time but if i just feel up to it i want to go walk um the trail but i want to do like a different path today so yeah i look so busted right now but i kind of just woke up but anywho here's my smoothie i have spinach fresh strawberries um that trader joe's pack that i showed you guys a few vlogs ago that has the um it might have been the last vlog anyways it has like all the the frozen mixed stuff i put chia seeds and honey and half of an avocado time to blend these have ugly colors like this but oh it's good though mm. don't judge a book by its cover So, I'm so hungry.
hey hey so y'all i'm just not in the mood today i managed to clean up the kitchen a little bit start like you know doing the laundry and all that i just took my vitamins let me show you all the vitamins i've been taking So I've been taking the women's multivitamin for the Ollie. Love these. And then I've also been taking these a few times a week. These are the Marie Biot Biotin and Collagen. So I like these. Both of these don't have, well this one has two grams of sugar. This one doesn't have any sugar. And I'm about to do an immunity shot. These are so nasty, but I bought two on accident. This has vitamin D and zinc in it. I'm on my freaking cycle, I'm cramping so bad. I'm trying not to take any medicine right now. But because I am a heavy bleeder, I just want to take some iron. Taking one iron tablet. It's gonna take one iron tablet. And then my chlorophyll drops. All right. I feel better. <sighs> so I'm just taking my Claritin because I might go walking later. I don't know yet. So y'all, let me catch y'all up on a few little light things. I'm gonna sit down on the couch and fold my laundry and we're gonna chitty chat. Cause I didn't, I edited that part out of my last vlog. I think it's because I was rambling and when I played it back, I was like, that was not nice, man. It's a few vlogs ago. I know I was, you know, talking about how I was like talking to this guy. He was from Ghana. Like literally after I finished editing that vlog, I was just like, nah. Like stuff was just happening and it really isn't a him thing. It's more so a me thing. And we're definitely gonna chit chat. So dating in Atlanta kind of like spoils you a little bit, you know? Because you're just used to men who actually do. Atlanta is a entrepreneurial city, a very self-employed type of place, right? So Houston is a very like working city and I like that. I don't ever work, I don't knock anybody for what they do occupationally, you know? But I just also have, I'm used to men who treat me well and when it comes to like things that I want, you know, like with me not having to ask or something, like I feel like, okay, if I ask you like, hey, can I have $500? It shouldn't be a problem, especially, you know what I'm saying, if you want to date me. So, and then the other thing too is, I'm not the type of girl who can fake attraction to somebody. If I'm not attracted to you somehow, it's not gonna work. Granted, he was a very handsome guy, but there were just a few little icks that I had. And I just felt like I was a little bit too much for him because one day we were in the car and he asked me like, you know, was I high maintenance? And it kind of threw me off a little bit because I was just like, what? You know, like, why are you asking me this? 
And that's when I start to feel a little uncomfortable because I just feel like maybe he feels like, you know, he can't do X, Y, and Z that I want to do. Or maybe he feels like he can't provide the type of things that I want because he feels like he's not capable. So I remember when we first hung out, um, we met at like this little hookah spot called Parker's. And it was a cool little first date. Um, just, it was very impromptu because I was already out that night with like friends and stuff like that. So I kind of like left my friends, went and hung out with him. And then he dropped me off at the place that I was at, right? <clears throat> I don't understand why my camera keeps cutting off when I'm trying to tell stories. It says I have all this time to record and it keeps doing this. I don't know if it's this memory card or what, but it's annoying me. And I haven't really been able to really chat like I want to because of this stupid camera. Anywho, back to the dude. He had cold, clammy hands. I didn't like how his breath smelled. Um, he was a little bit too clingy. And... Yeah, and he just made me feel like I was settling for bare minimum, okay? Like, okay, cool, you know, I know I posted about like the flowers and stuff he gave me and all of that stuff, but the thing is like he kept saying like he wanted to buy me flowers, but but there was like a butt next to it. And then um, he wanted to be a surprise. So we had went to the grocery, like I think we went to the grocery store to get, I had to get something. And then he left my apartment and then went back to the grocery store to buy me the flowers. Okay, cool. I'm not a red roses type of girl, really, cause I guess, cause I don't like the color red. But the thing is with grocery store flowers, they're not always going to be the best quality. Those flowers, when I was trying to make the bouquet, they were like dying that day. And then the same thing happened when he bought me some tulips. And I just feel like I don't want a guy to buy me flowers because he feels like, okay, she wants flowers, I have to buy flowers. Like I want you to like take the time and just like, you know, create like a, like a moment behind it, you know? Like it was, everything was just so rushed and it felt like so forced. So it didn't really feel like special to me. And then the fact that the flowers were fucking dying, it just made it worse, you know? So it just made me think like, damn, like yes, you know, thoughtfulness counts but it was just the way that everything was presented it just seemed so forced and so rushed and it's like then it makes you think like damn bro you think i'm all i'm good for is some little heb flowers like no like go to a florist and have them make me a beautiful bouquet like what's up so it was a few other things and I had to really just be honest with myself because I think with the last toxic situation that I got that I got out of, I was kind of like just really hoping to meet somebody nice and somebody genuine to where I was trying to force myself to fall in love with that situation and it just wasn't working. So I had to be honest with him and tell him and that's what it is. But the other thing that was so funny, I went out on Sunday on Easter and I saw him out and he was with this this girl, I don't, I don't know, like maybe he was trying to talk to her or whatever, I really could care less because if I don't like you, I really don't care, but he looks stupid. And my thing is like, he always talks about how he works all the time, so how the fuck are you at a, at a day party? And then it just started making me think like, girl, you, like, you really just dodged a bullet. But I can't even say I dodged a bullet because I didn't even allow myself emotionally to even get that too much invested or whatever. And I feel bad, I don't want nobody to ever feel like I use them because you know, but it just wasn't working and I had to be honest with myself about it. So that's that. But um, some other updates. Um, I, okay, y'all remember my olive tree I got? <clears throat> so I found an Amazon box to put inside the olive, I mean, put inside the vase for the olive tree. So now my tree sits up like so freaking tall. So I'm gonna get some stuff to cover this and then we're gonna buy like the moss and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm excited for that. But um, yeah, that's really what I had to tell y'all. But that was just the update on the guy because I felt like I wanted to tell y'all that. <sighs> so I'm just really enjoying just being alone um, and it's okay not to have options because I haven't really put myself out there to really 
try to date somebody or really try to get to know somebody i just been focused on a whole lot of other things just getting acclimated you know it's officially been six months since i've been in houston so y'all that update video i just can't believe it's officially been six months and it's officially been six months since i've been in houston y'all that's crazy April 1st was my niece's birthday and also the first, I mean, the six month anniversary of me being in my place. So I'm proud of myself, I'm happy. And yeah, so I'm gonna finish doing my laundry. And y'all, having a cream couch is no joke. It's just the little feathers be popping out the couch. It'd be like, it gets like little balls of like, whatever I'm wearing gets caught on there. But, mm-hmm. But it's some people down in my, well, it was two girls in my pool. They were down there tanning. And if I wasn't on my cycle, I would so be down there. I just want to be inside right now. So I will pick the camera back up and check back in with y'all a little bit later. I just want to get my heating pad and like lay on the couch and eat cookies. And I'm not supposed to be eating bad stuff, but. <sighs> and then also too, today is week seven of my semaglutide injection. So I'm gonna get back on camera later and talk about that. Um, so yeah. Happy Friday, boss babes. What's going on? Um, your girl has definitely been missing. The period fatigue took me out. I took iron yesterday, but the iron clearly didn't really help. But um, yeah, so for all of my girls going through with their cycles, listen. But um, I got a package in the mail. I'll show you all the package in a second. But they gave me, well, inside the package, it was like a bunch of this stuff. So I'm going to fluff out my olive tree. And then I'm going to order, like, the moss that I want to put on top of the tree. So, yeah. So I can show you guys kind of, like, what's up with my tree. So with my tree, it's sitting on top of an Amazon box. So I have it on top of this box. And I'm gonna stuff some bubble wrap in here at the bottom to keep her in place. Trying to figure out if I want to make it any taller. But I feel like this is already really tall. So technically it's like I could make the tree stand up a little more, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it up at the bottom. So 
So I'm taking a piece of cardboard to kind of cut and have like a little stand for, so it can go around it, so the moss doesn't fall like all inside of the um the base, the planter pot, whatever we were calling it. So I'm cutting a circle. Freestyling this. Like this. That should be big enough, maybe. Let's see. It might need to be more. Let's see. Ugh. I might have made it too big. Okay, so it's a little bit too big. So I need to cut some of this off right here. A little bit wider for the tree and then we're going to take some of this off all right let's try it now Ta -da! boom there we go that I want to get off of Amazon so it can go on top of the tree. Mm -hmm. Only thing is I'm trying to decide if I want to raise I'm trying to decide if I want to raise the tree up a little bit more but I've already I mean it's already super tall right now. Like it went I think it's probably like another 12 maybe like 10 inches higher but let's see something else oh okay this is where it's at if i raise it up more it could be like here all right we'll see i'll find something maybe but that's it for now so i just got a package from dharma clinic this is part of their brand, Dharma Nutrition. Dharma Nutrition is gonna be like all the supplements and all that good stuff. So let's see what I got. Premium supplements for your wellness journal journey. Boom. So let's see. I got the Sleep Strips Raspberry Flavor. This helps with insomnia, stress-related sleep loss, disturb non-REM sleep. Wow, I'm excited to try these. Then I got the Slim Boost. Mm. Take three capsules a day with food. So this should help me. It has magnesium, chromium, and alpha lipoic acid. All right, I am excited about this. These are the hair, skin, and nail vitamins. Love that. And then lastly, I have a natural and caffeine-free detox. This is what I need to do. I need to detox my body. I wonder if it's gonna make me poop. Probably, I see the, the, um, the ingredients, fennel. So yeah. If you all are interested in just kind of boosting your weight loss and you may be on semaglutide, so yeah, if you're looking to 
jumpstart your weight loss, boost your weight loss. Like, you know, I'm on seven glutide. I just did my week seven injection yesterday. Um, I will be incorporating these with my, um, like, you know, with my eating and all that stuff. And I definitely want to try this tea. If it's going to make me poop, I'm here for it because I need help. The packaging is so cute too. Like I love all the fonts and stuff. So yeah. All right, y'all. I have work to do today. I need to get it done. So let's get this day started. First things first, we're going to take a shower. And yeah. So I will pick the camera back up in a few. But my to-do list, today is Friday. Between now and Monday, I need to get content done. Um... I need to take the braids out. I need to dye my bundles. So, cause my hair appointment's on Tuesday. So I need to dye those bundles probably Sunday night or even Monday night. No, 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 Sunday I need to take the braids out because I don't, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to have somebody help me. So yeah, I'm gonna take these braids out on Sunday and yeah, the braids gotta go. It's time for 30 inch bust down season, period. All right, I just got done filming some content. I had to do my Instagram stories for Fashion Nova, and then I had to do this real video for a bra brand. Um, just finished that, now the fun part. Editing the real, like, ugh. But I'm all done, I need to, I need to edit. Y'all, I have like a lot of little housework things I need to do, but the thing is, I ran out of hangers. So I need, I need hangers so I can hang up all these new clothes. And I just got two Fashion Nova packages that, uh, packages that came in um, that I need to go get from my parcel locker. But this dress I'm wearing is from Ed Hardy. It is too big. I got a 3X and I really need a 2X because I want it to fit like this. And I have no shapewear on, but it's cute. I'm not gonna wear this out or anything because I don't like the way it looks on me. But I don't know, maybe if I put some shapewear on, it might change, it might change it up. But um, let me get going. It's Friday, I just realized that today is Friday. And I don't even know if I introduced the vlog yet, but happy Friday, boss babes. We out here, we in here. Um, I am a professional procrastinator, so I really need to get my ish done. So I'll holla at y'all. <laughs> I'm about to go out by the pool and try to get some sun so outfit fashion over top these are some old forever 21 bottoms fashion over curve bottoms super old christian dior's earrings are from i'll tag them i forget but yeah i oiled up i don't have any more like browning stuff so to tan i'm using this Josie Moran, Josie Moran Argon Oil to tan. I hope it gets me dark. And then it's a little bit of baby oil gel. I'm about to fill up my water bottle. And baby, we about to go to the pool because I look cute, period. It's 87 degrees in Houston. I'm out here trying to get a quick tan. The sun is outside and I needed this so bad, so. Now I have the pool to myself. Yay! So, yeah, we're out here at the pool tanning. And it's hot as fuck. I don't have makeup on because remember, I was in my apartment doing content, but it was too hot not to pass up the opportunity to come tan. So, I'm all out of tanning oil. So, I had to make a little concoction. But, y'all, I hope I get some sun because I need it bad that looks like i might have some tan right there i don't know i can't tell but all right T -T -Y -L. all right y'all came back from the pool i re took like a quick shower because i wanted to get like all the oil off of me or whatever um but i kept my makeup I don't know I feel like I'm about to go somewhere or I want to go somewhere but I'm just making something to eat and um, I really 
I have this is my first time eating like anything today. Um, I took my semaglutide injection yesterday. I'm, I upped my my dosage to 25, and y'all, I got on the scale this morning, and I lost some more weight, almost a pound. So the app that I use for my scale is called Fit Index, and let's go to trends. So on March 29th. I was 300.2 pounds and now I'm 299.4 so I'm officially out of the 300 pound range but I don't know if you all can see that that's where I was and that's where I am now so your girl is doing the damn thing let's do the exact math 300.2 minus 299.4 so I lost 0.8 pounds <gasps> I'm feeling skinny, baby. But yeah, I feel like because I did take semaglutide before last year, like my resistance is, you know, kind of there. So I feel like I started to notice the weight loss when the dosage was higher. So yeah, and I still have like six more weeks left on this program. My face even looks dark with the makeup on, oh my God. But y'all, I did get some, I did get a, a little tan. Look at my ADHD brain. Ew. But, um, yeah, so I feel like I am losing weight now that the dosage is higher and the fact that I didn't have any cravings or anything like that. Um, I showed you all the supplements they gave me, so I'm going to start incorporating those into my, um, my weight loss and all of that good stuff. So I'm just making some salmon in the air fryer. I'm gonna put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it and I'm gonna saute some spinach and that's gonna be a quick, easy meal. So yeah, y'all, your girl is losing weight. But um, I think I'm gonna go out tonight. I'm not sure yet. I, I don't know what is wrong with like my little procrastination bug that's in me because I did not put the sheets in my bed. I washed the sheets, I even washed my pillows. And if y'all ain't washing your pillows, y'all ain't nasty. Y'all should be washing your pillows. Um, oh yeah, but I haven't hung up the clothes in my closet because I need to get hangers. I need to order those off of Amazon. It's just a lot that I need to do. So let me cook me some Din Din and I'm about to chillax. It has been such a relaxing day, but I'm about to do a face mask, a marine collagen face mask at that. And this is from Marie. My skin just needs a little TLC. I was out in the sun today, had on makeup. It smells so good. It's dripping with nutrients for my skin. Feels like one of those wrestling masks. I always get like, I feel like I can't breathe. Good morning, boss babes. It is Saturday. It's like 10.30 a.m. I have been up since like six something, but then I went back to sleep. But those little sleep strips from Dharma Nutrition, I don't know what's in there, but when I say like I was so sleepy and like I got a really good sleep, no weird dreams, nothing like that. But I'm about to go to Target and maybe stop by Sephora. So I'm gonna take you all with me. Um, some of my followers were asking me what are some of like the things I get at Target, what are things I buy at Sephora. So of course I want to, you know, have more content that you all want to see because when I go to Target, y'all, some 
sometimes it's kind of hard to film in there because the Target that's close to me is always so busy. Um, why is this Uber still showing six minutes away? Damn. Okay, I can go sit down on my couch for a little bit. Um, that was weird. Um, and like the hygiene items and all that type of stuff that I buy because I, um, I normally just don't show that stuff, but that's what y'all want to see. So I'm going to show y'all. I have a list of things that I need to get from, um, from Target and from Sephora. So yeah, dang it. Then now it's going to show that he was moving on the map, but yeah, it is a good day. I've just been up today taking care of some bills all that type of stuff that I need to do. And now I just need to get some little household things. I'm traveling um, on the 11th for a family trip. So that's exciting. And just need to get like a few little things for that. So yeah, let's get ready for a fun Saturday. <sighs> Your girl has a lot to do. So let's go ahead and get this day started. All right, y'all. So I've been trying to find some type of organization for my bathroom sink and I've been having no success. So, yeah. The search continues. So, let's do some hygiene shopping, right? This is an item that I like. These are good to put these in your purse and just to have these on the go. So I do like these from Honey Pots. Mm -hmm. Since I'm traveling, we just started making these. I never used to see these before. Awesome. It's funny, but I'm sick. And then just these little things right here. You never know when you need these. And I want to get this so I can put my face wash in it. And then I just have to get some more cotton pads. So yeah, and I need some razors. I need to figure out where those are. here these are mm -hmm. let me get this mm -hmm. I don't know which one I like I like this one definitely need this for my freaking breakouts Y'all, these are like limited edition. So if you see these, go get them because somebody was selling this for $30 on Amazon. 
so I'm getting both of these. Boom. All right, y'all, we are getting up out of here. All right, cool, last thing I had to do was get a birthday card for my friend, and we are about to get the hell up out of here because I have a lot of stuff. Just got home from Target. So let me show y'all what I got, okay? So, as you've heard me say, I need to dye my bundles for my install on Tuesday. So I had to get one more box of dye because I have five bundles. I like to use one box per bundle just to make sure it's super black. Um, my niece's birthday was on April 1st, but we're going on our family trip. So I just wanted to get her a cute little swimsuit. So I'm gonna pack this in my suitcase, but this is so cute. She can wear it while we're on our trip. Got some more sponges. I'm gonna keep the suitcase in this bag. Something I did not need, but I wanted. Look at this really cute mixer. It was $5. You can never have enough mixers, okay? And then, y'all, I always, I'm always making like lemon drops and stuff like that. And I didn't have a citrus press. So I got this one. This is from Figment. I love this brand. And it's huge and it's made of zinc, dishwasher safe. So this is really good material. Good, good, good one. All right, so I want to try the purifying foaming cleanser from La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay, because y'all don't be saying it right. But um, I use the gentle one now, but I want to try this one out and see. I showed you all the honey pot wipes. These are great for on the go. Put them in your purse. And then I had to get some more travel size items for my suitcase. Oops, that's a birthday card. And then little tubes. I don't know what I'm gonna need these for, but I can never find those. All right, this is what I was talking about. These, I saw somebody on Amazon selling this for $30. So I got the three pack and I got the two pack because I like this pink Wisteria Lane smell. How much did I spend at Target? I spent $231 and I had coupons, whatever. All right, I had to get some benzol peroxide. Oh my God, my camera battery is dying. I got the Sonia Kashuk sponges, some Clorox wipes on the go, perfect for traveling on the plane, makeup wipes. These are my favorite razors and these were on sale at Target as well. Let me hurry before my phone dies. All right, you already saw, I got the Naturium. Focus, baby. Sensitive Skin Dove. All right, I just bought some household gloves because I'm about to dye this hair. And then I got this Gain, Mr. Clean. Then I got the Tropic Glow Shave Oil. I love this way better than Shavy Cream. And then I got this so I can clean out my sink. Cotton swabs. A pro eyelash curler because I am a no mascara girly now. Just some more little things. I can put the face wash in there and just like, so maybe if I put like, I don't know, moisturizer in one of those. And then I got a traveling jewelry box. This was on sale for 10 freaking dollars. But y'all, I needed this so bad. Like, you know, put your studs up there, put your rings and such because, you know, my earrings, look how perfect this is. Perfect for travel and another brow glue. I'm gonna to go to Sephora, but I need to make, I need to go through all my makeup and make a list of stuff that I need. So I'm about to put all this away and then I need to go downstairs and get my Fashion Nova package. And yeah, charge up my battery. So I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Inside my club purse, I keep a little wallet, my little card holder. This is a lash fan because somebody stole my last one. My ear pods with my keys. Ear pods with my keys. A tamp. And then all of my lip products. So I got my lip liner. Myth lipstick. Little e.l.f. lip oil. And then Anastasia lip gloss. And cantaloupe. Yeah but I'm about to put my shoes on so 
so we can really get about this door i ain't waiting around on nobody you will already know my vibes when it comes to that i hate when people want me to go out with them and they always say oh let's go get a drink before let's go do this and never be on time so i'm really just trying to be on my own vibes because yeah but let me grab my shoes and i'll holla at you babes later Happy Sunday, boss babes, and good afternoon. Um, I just get so happy when I wake up in the morning and I get on that scale and I drop more weight. Like, I'm now 298.6. Two days ago, I was 299.4. I'm going to show y'all something. So, in uh, on top of semaglutide and really eating a lot better, I started taking these two days ago, the Slim Boost. You take three of these supplements with your food, I just took it, and baby, when I say this won't have you feeling like you even think about food, but I do make sure to get my protein in and I'm actually about to sit down and research a good protein powder because I want to start making like a protein shake every morning. But last night when I went out, there's this um, African African after hour spot and they sell this really good chicken suya. So I got some to bring it home and I just reheated it in the air fryer. It comes on skewers, but I'm literally just eating this. Um, it's so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I just have a little bit of barbecue sauce. But this is probably like the only thing I'll eat today. But I definitely want to make a protein shake every morning. So yeah, I'm really happy with my weight loss journey. And since March 2nd, I've lost, let's see, 306 minus 298.6. I've lost 7.4 pounds. And I really, again, I didn't start seeing this weight loss until I upped the dosage on my semaglutide. So right now I'm taking, let me see what the dosage is. So right now I'm taking 0 0.7 milligrams. On Thursday, I took 30 units. Um, I feel good. I don't have any side effects. I don't have nausea. I feel great. So, yeah. But this Sunday, you all probably hear my loud dryer. What's really that loud? But I'm about to wash my towels. Oh shit. I'm just doing laundry today, getting ready for the week. I travel on, um, I travel on I travel on Thursday. So you all will see where I'm going then. Mm, mm, mm. So I travel on Thursday. I'm getting my hair and all of that stuff done on Tuesday. So my goal is to if I don't end up going anywhere tonight which I probably won't I'm gonna start taking my braids out or I'll probably just take my braids out tomorrow like tomorrow evening and then walk, get up and wash my hair on um, Tuesday morning I'm gonna be so tired on Tuesday but my nails Look at that new growth. Horrible. My feet 
crusty. So I'm gonna get myself together this week. For sure. Um, yep. So I'll holler at you all later. I'm about to chill on my couch. And just a chill Sunday for me, okay? All right, y'all. I'm really about to get up in the fields. Um, so one of my friends lives in my building that I knew from Atlanta and I never knew because when I first moved to Houston, I saw him in the grocery store and we ran into each other last night. And he was like, what you doing today? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Ugh. I was like, oh, I don't know. And he was like, you ain't cooking today? And I'm like, I didn't have no plans on cooking because I was just tired from like, you know, being out last night or whatever. So I was, then I told my homegirl, I was like, look, why don't we go to Maya later and come over and we can, you know, I can cook and we can smoke hookah. Cause my, my neighbor, he has drinks and stuff. He was like, let me bring some drinks to your apartment. But anywho, I just went to H-E-B to get stuff to cook because I was like, listen, if you want me to cook, you need to send the money. Send the fucking funds. So we have food. So I'm gonna do macaroni and cheese, cabbage, and then I'm going to do chicken wings. And yeah, it's gonna be a nice little Sunday meal. And then he said he has some Don Julio Reposado. And I want um, to make lemon drops. So yeah, we about to get it popping on this glorious Sunday. Um, I want to get some lychee syrup from Total Wine. <sighs> they have it on DoorDash. Total Wine has it on DoorDash. Stop playing. Here we go. Boom. Wait. Anywho, let me start getting stuff ready because I need to boil the noodles for the mac. The mac needs to go first, so let's get started. Okay. So, I'm making macaroni and cheese, of course. I got these large elbow noodles, and then I have Colby and Monterey Jack sharp cheddar, and then I got a block of Gouda. So I'm gonna have to grate the Gouda. But right now, we are about to dump all these noodles into the boiling water. A whole bag okay so I make mac and cheese my way I know there are so many different variations of making macaroni and cheese but I create a roux that is part heavy whipping cream cheese and I use butter I don't put eggs I don't put mustard once I put sour cream but I'm not doing all this craziness today okay we are gonna keep it cute and simple so let's get started on the roux Oh, no, I'm not 
with y'all a little Sunday dinner. Cece's here. It's our plates. Everything looks really good. Mm-hmm. And we got the hookah. For sure. So sometimes you just gotta sit your ass in the house. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Monday. I'm just chilling at home. Um I have a lot to do and I'm kind of procrastinating right now, but uh, I need to finish filming the other part of my reel, so I want to do this outfit. And I'm just so lazy. I don't even feel like putting on makeup, but that's that. But yeah, I'm, I need to take these braids out. Then I still need to dye my bundles, right? Ciao. Take my braids out. And I still gotta wash and blow dry my hair before tomorrow. So I just have a lot to do. I'm kind of overwhelmed, but it's okay. My hair appointment again is tomorrow evening. So I have time. I'm just kind of sitting here right now. I'm wetting my little camera light, like the little light that you get off of Amazon that you clip onto your phone. I'm trying to let that charge a little bit so I can film this other part of the reel like I just stated. And then I'm about to get to work taking these braids out. These braids gotta go. They have ran its course. But I um, will check back in with you all a little bit later. Tonight will be the last day of this vlog. Cause this vlog has definitely, it's time to end this vlog. Um, and then we're gonna start a new vlog of all the prep I have to do to get ready for my family vacation. Cause I am traveling this week. I'm traveling on Thursday, early Thursday morning. Like, y'all. <clears throat> So yeah, that's all that I have planned. So let me get to work. It is 7.21 p.m. I'm tired of being a procrastinator. So you all will see me a little bit later. Don't expect much for the rest of this day. You've been warned. <laughs> oh, it is much later. It's I don't even have my phone with me, but I've washed my hair, <sighs> did a deep conditioning treatment, I dermaplaned my face, I shaved, I showered, did my skincare, and now I am on the couch folding laundry, and I'm also doing laundry. Oh yeah, and I dyed my bundles. So your girl has been productive. Productive. And I'm starting to pack for my trip, so. Because tomorrow is going to be hectic. Like, I'm not going to have a chance to probably breathe. Because tomorrow, I need... My nail appointment's at 11.45. So, after my nail appointment, I'll probably come back home, chill, and, like, you know, finish whatever, like, little laundry and stuff like that that I have. And then, um, my hair appointment's at 5.30. So, of course, you know, it's, like, traffic and stuff around that time. So, I will be... I'm gonna just try to make my way like to the Galleria area around that time because I wanna go get my eyebrows threaded tomorrow as well. So that's on my to-do list for tomorrow. Get my eyebrows threaded and then go to my nail appointment. I mean, then go to my hair appointment. So nails, brows, hair. Then y'all, I threw away all my old brushes so I can't, well, I mean, I can blow dry my hair but I'm gonna have to use my mermaid, um, the blow dryer with like the brush versus just using like a brush, which is, I like to do that and blow dry my hair with like a brush. So I'm gonna have to go get a brush or just try to blow dry my hair as best as I can with the tool that I got. Because yeah, my brushes were old, like my combs and stuff. I remember like a few vlogs ago, I had got new combs, but I never got a new brush because I had braids, so. Ciao. Yeah, but I'm about to just finish folding this laundry and then I'm going to, I don't even know if I'm tired or not. I just feel like I need to be productive. I need to get stuff done. Um, my, the bottom of my feet hurt so bad because they are so crusty. And I think one thing I wanna do as well, I wanna get a medical pedicure. They don't even use water, they just, you know, they're licensed professionals who work on calluses and things like that. So that's something that I've been researching here in Houston because 
I definitely want to do it but um just wanted to end this vlog I'm gonna start a brand new vlog tomorrow and boss babes I love y'all so much um thank you again I'm always gonna say thank you for you all being with me on this YouTube journey the journey to 10k um like a memory had popped up but like a year ago around this time this is when I began to consistently post on YouTube um so wow I'm like dang it's been one year when I was living in Charlotte I mean living in Atlanta and I just decided you know hey I want to get back active on YouTube I had you know started using my camera the way I, it was intended to be used you know I downloaded Final Cut Pro learned how to use that reached out to people for like assistance along the way so i'm just proud of myself and the growth that i have in the community that i am building and i absolutely love you all and i just hope that you know if you all are new to my channel and you're just now subscribing or just now tuning in to me thank you and continue to watch watch my old videos get caught up with what's going on in your world's life but i'm just so grateful to have you all here with me on YouTube and yeah, but your girl's about to finish up what she got to do. <sighs> we might have to call it a night soon, but I love you all and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.